and welcome to Giga Play Studio Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we're going to create uh, this 50 kind of look, leave it with a semi error brush type of the skin. But at the same time, what I want to do, I want to keep it details if you can look like on the eyes right here. I like to have these details on the hair, eyebrows, so we don't lose some of them. As well, keep it a little bit skin uh, texture on. We'll go over some filters and settings as well as a little bit adjustment and just overall workflow. In some cases for the 50s I like to create this and for some other example right here I did the other ones. I like sometimes to show a little bit more texture on a skin mostly for the man a little bit maybe a little bit more cringy kind of texturing but for that specific picture I thought the lighting on the and this is a beautiful model um, reading so it's very nice perfect like 50s look the color shapes lighting so, so I think it was very nice to try to create maybe like 50s look let's um, go ahead over the workflow and just we'll do this in the, uh, Photoshop okay we'll beginning by open our image in the camera raw and I do like should everything in the camera rights provide wider range for me to work for example right here I have a little bit colors or blow up and we can look so I can recover a lot of information is going forward to this first I'm going to set a little bit warmer temperature just slightly and going inside a little bit greenish our eyes is more susceptible to the green color look a little bit more pleasant to us so that's why I'm kind of shifting colors a little bit towards this as well right here a little bit more hot spot I'll go to reduce just slightly my exposure and nice things about exposure usually you can go down on your exposure without damaging image that much it's if you go up you start having problem with your darker area too high noise so if you have it a little bit over a shot um, it's nicer to correct this way okay. also same time by doing down exposure we start flattening so I'm going to take highlights and just put pinch you can see it's give it a little bit more dimension again just small settings um, next what I like to do it is just a little bit on a curve so and right here actually I want to take same little bit hot highlights put them down and a little bit on the shadow and just a little bit kind of curve um, I don't want necessarily create too much contrast at this point just slightly okay um, sharpness it depends when you do your sharpness and I prefer kind of going back and sometimes forward between to see which applied in some case sharpness is better for me what I do come closer to the skin and you can see if you go too far you start having degradation but again this is was shot with studio lighting and it well actually no this is was shot with a, just one speed light outside so it wasn't any um, fancy studio lighting but it was shot with 100 ISO so very low noise but again this is a little bit overdone and I maybe bring just slightly down make details and bring masking up so we can zoom a little bit up right here preview I think look about right okay so next what I want to do it is um, apply a little bit more highlights and with luminosity what's happening our skin it's always have it some kind of small distortions but I want this airbrush look so we'll go in and I, I will increase a little bit luminosity on the orange and you can see kind of bring this dimension a little bit better and highlights will remove some saturations too let's just add a small saturation to the orange to compensate for losing that saturations to the white um, in some cases I will look lens correction but I don't want in this case it's kind of bring up so we'll disable that and at this moment let's go ahead and open if you want if you um, can't really you can open as object but 
for me I'm no I'm done with them um, raw so I want to come back at this moment okay, the first things what I do in Photoshop it is working to remove some um, skin defects maybe inside here and to do this we'll create a um, normal layer okay, and next I'm going to select the tool and you have it spot healing healing brush and path tool so mostly three of this in this area I'm using and I'm using sometimes clone step I find for my purpose the healing brush tool I like the best in um, in specific situation and reason why because it will take the textures or the gray scale and apply some to the object so let's look closer so we're going for example maybe right here so we'll zoom in and this is already have a very nice skin so I don't want kind of modify too much but what I want to do it is uh, let's look maybe right here um, I do recommend to use the Vicom pad much easier but for the purpose of tutorials I'm just using mouse right now okay right here we have it, our brush and I'm using bracket key to increase or decrease brush scale they also um, what's happening right here I can go press alt take sample and I notice for example for some you want to take a little bit darker area sample and you notice we apply texture so if we going and use just spot healing which we does need to do we apply it it's a little bit make a smoother kind of remove the texture in some cases it may work on some skins and in some cases it's combination of both of them but currently when I want to keep it integrity of the skin uh, texturing I actually prefer to healing tool and again what I'm doing I'm going over and I can say I find out if you select on the brighter area you're going you sometimes have a little bit more distortion so you want to go some other ones just click around the remove small effect and right here you can notice some texturing based you want to apply it from different sampling overall this and again I'm using healing tool it's going sample all layers sometimes you may just want to go content below but currently I have it all layers because one and this is on separate layer so when I'm done fixing and again this is small effect you can preview before after so I'm going to modify to going over all remove all this small kind of effect and this is done on a hundred percent okay so I'm going to pause go over and remove all this teeny tiny kind of imperfection it's not so many it's very few of them but just to be sure I'm going to clean up that okay so right here we modified some of the effects so next what I want to do it is actually we have the wrinkles and this is happy wrinkles I don't actually want to remove them because it will be look a little bit artificial skin but with these wrinkles um, how I say this is represent the very happy smile person so I want to keep them but I want them turn a little bit down so they won't be uh, that hard so for this one I'm going to create another layer let's take this maybe a little bit down to about 30 some percent and we'll go to use the same tool just select clean and just go over slightly again this is very gentle just a little bit tone them down okay and you notice I'm trying to follow the skin flow so if we're going this way I'm trying to select the right here a little bit lighter area and we'll just follow slightly right here so kind of a little bit toned down we'll even bring a little bit more tone down after when we start dodging burning kind of but with this you can see we have it um, just a little bit smoother how say we don't want to remove all of them but we want to remove it as well if you notice 
this is before just how I say the skin is almost perfect just small things like remote you know clean up uh, small adjustments okay let's go right here and just slightly clean up uh, same thing so we'll go to select only a bit lighter and go with the skin flow just to turn smooth them slightly down get preview okay how say this is happy wrinkles I don't want to get rid of them okay we'll zoom out okay this one we can also next I want to apply a little bit more global to this so we'll have it another layer and reason why I'm doing you can create just everything on one um, layer if you want it but I find out um, sometimes it's easy for me to control different layers in this case if I do something more I can readjust a little bit better with uh, how it's flowing so I'm going here select a little bit larger area select and actually you know, let's make even bigger and just go with a larger overall pass and you notice right now it's kind of smoothing all of them okay right here next I need to do same on, on the other one but I'll do in a second when I pause because I want to pay a little bit more attention and this is kind of almost removed so but what we're going to blur a little bit right here so let's go to filter blur gaussian blur actually because gaussian blur is what I wanted Just apply and we'll take all the way down so you can see this is kind of even more tuned down so in this case I can control it even more this is too much of smoothing so just slightly again applying to all again if we look out and here we had it before and here you can notice mostly right on under eyes we tune a little bit down we still have it but there not that much um, again I'm not going to smooth the skin that because I will do apply different effect for the smoothing to create this 50s but I want to preserve some texture of the skin a little bit stronger right now so it will pop up after when we apply stronger smoothing effect to the skin Okay, when we're done cleaning and kind of slightly adjusting skin, um, next what I want to do is start using dodge and burn. And normally I separate them on two layers. One, dodge and burn on small details, like maybe work around eyes, a little bit on the teeth, some small teeny tiny details. And also other ones I create a big brush and I'm just overall toned down some shadows in a large area. So it's what we're going to do. We create one, switch this to the soft light. And we'll go to edit fill and we'll fill with 50% gray you'll notice it's no effect um, but what we're going to do and it's different which tool you prefer some people use a dodge and burn um, I many times I'm just using brush okay again we'll scale down and I'm going to use a brush right here 10 opacity and you can switch between press at one two three four five so you can switch it normal I'm just going to opacity 10 the smallest one it will come closer to the eye I want a little bit brighter up this white up it's already very nice white I don't again I'm going to the point don't want to move all of this plasterize I want to leave it even some small veins inside and again we'll use it because highlight I want to use it white by pressing X you can switch between white and black very fast and right here you can see I can start kind of slightly bringing in okay anytime when you do this way if you want preview you can always go ahead check it in out click in so we'll wind up a little bit making some just slightly just yes, let's scroll to another eye this is have a nice shallow diaphanous lens 
Okay, we also can zoom out and now you can see just small touch doesn't need it but it will bright up um, next let's go ahead and work a little bit just widening up teeth not that much again it's already nice good color so we don't need it just right here kind of little bit and this is natural actually shadow for the teeth when you shoot because they're semi-translucent so and they're semi-translucent with uh, as usual with uh, some blue absorbing light so you'll have it yellow transparent light cross so on the teeth is very common you will have it even on very very clean teeth with the lighting you will have it right here on the edge yellow and how I say it's because translucency of material and absorption and uh, maybe sounds too geeky but I do a lot of 3D and it's what happening okay next I'm switching to the darker to the black and in this case I just want to touch up lips a little bit right here bring them darker give them a little bit more tone to this Here. That's a small touch ups. I'm going to probably touch up a little bit more on a black, and uh, what I want to do is pop up to the 220% and add eyeliner. So this will give it us um, kind of more pop up on the eyes. Okay, until we're right here, let's um, add a little bit darker on eyebrows. In some case, you don't need to worry about big, just you know, just darker slightly any contrast around that try to go maybe with the flow of the hair so it's creating let's go to right here same kind of darken and let's put it eyeliner around here sometimes I even go maybe give it a little bit darker to the eyelashes and again heading right here okay so we applied and um, you can see we brought a little bit more color to the eyes kind of and shade it and again I'm going towards the 50s when it was airbrushed kind of brings so we go towards more that style okay let's continue in the next part the outdoor